these are eggs. They're not super attractively. Eights. I definitely, you know, need to wear something long underneath this, like a layer. But hello, it's super cute. productive got $80 worth of clothes for $60 got a few new medium shirts so that I can get some more spring styles they're still long sleeves because I'm still self-conscious about my arms but you guys I bought a pair of size 8 jeans that's my second pair of size 8 pants that I have been able to purchase now granted I did try on quite a few that did not fit me so I wouldn't call myself a size 8 but I've never been able to buy any size 8s before so We'll call it a win. It's Friday. It is a bitter cold day. We are kind of ticked off at the weather right now. It probably is going to put us behind a schedule, and I don't know. But we are heading out right now to clogging competition. Woo! Woo! Absolutely did. Please don't crash, Dave. We just hit some bad weather, and the roads are really slick. We have to slow way down. We're already. About an hour and a half behind. <laughs> Thankfully, they, we were planning to be way early, but still, this is pretty scary. Guys, how are you doing? Jenny looks so cool. Look at her. Those eyes are really pretty. That's what makes it Helen. It's giant. Look how are you? Oh, I look Now you can say hello. Virginia, how is your hair? She did not sleep on it. Because Ronnie kept moving it. See? Yeah. About that. What? Hey, Mom. I would have slept on my hair, but then since Mom, sitting there. Sitting how do you like to do makeup? I love doing makeup. This is the best part of the whole competition. <laughs> Ronnie likes to do hair. And so do you. I know because I'm a hairstylist. You are. <laughs> I mean, when I grow up, I'm gonna have a hairstyle oh, salon. That's awesome. Another one. It's day two of Idaho State clogging competition. Dave wondered if I'm wearing vintage clothes to like celebrate their dance, but. No, I'm just cool. It's limited. I'm what? just cool. Vintage. vintage, you know, vintage special. I look a mess, by the way. Our next overall grand champion is Stars Unlimited Boys with their kids. <laughs> new to me anyway Dave found this cute little car it's Acura for 500 bucks bought it from my brother um, and he's fixing it up for me and this is my first time out driving it and look how warm it is today you guys the Sun is out it's like 47 degrees I took my coat off I can turn on the AC in here are you kidding me like it's a good day it's starting to feel like 
yummy warm weather is on its way back for the first time in a long time, and I'm really, really happy about that. <laughs> Pin it so that it pops up like that, or do you like it like flat Ruby, like that? Yes. Watch. Pin it or like Watch. it? I like it. Okay. Watch. It's Wednesday, and I am heading out. Oh, what is this? What? Hmm. It was spring yesterday. What? Oh, good grief. This is Utah for you. And this has been the snowiest winter we have had in forever. It is March 13th. Come on already with the snow. I've about had it. Anyway, it's Wednesday. It's ballet day and I am heading out this morning to go pick up keto cakes. Um, they have my one of my favorite flavors. I have plenty of keto cakes right now, as you probably know, since I've picked up quite a few of the rest and I only eat one a day. Um, but they have one of my favorite flavors. They don't have it all the time. And so I'm stocking up and put it in the freezer for later. Why does it have to be so cold? Cold is so cold. So one of my loyal fans, Mary McCarthy, messaged me this morning and told me that apparently I am in Woman's World magazine. So I'm on my way to Commonwealth School, but I am stopping to see if I can find one.
wasn't in there, so I'll have to look at another store maybe, find out what issue she's telling me about, and see if I can figure out if I missed it. Maybe it's an older issue that's been out a couple weeks and this store already has a new one. I don't know, but uh, hopefully I'll figure it out soon because I want to see what they wrote about me, especially since they didn't tell me they were writing anything. Okay, so here we are at another Walmart. We are here looking for the magazine. I was told it says Keto on the front, so I think, see one over here. I think could be it. Let's go see. I think maybe it could be this one. But I don't see that saying, well, I don't know, let's see. Sadly, they did not have it. The Keto Diet Magazine, not the right one. So, off to another Walmart. I can't believe I'm dragging my babies to another Walmart. <laughs> but I am. I'm coming. What did you just say? I have a crush. On who? Uh, I don't know his name. Is he in your class at school? At Commonwealth? Yes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But you don't know his name? Yes. What does he look like? Yeah. Customers only. That's not you. Yeah. Let's look in these ones. No, over oh no, over here. No, right here. Let's look in these ones. Mm. I don't think it's over here either. We have looked at all of these aisles and we cannot find it. <gasps> Wait, is that it? Let's find out. Grab it. The one that says keto. Let's see. Okay, open it up to page 28. Maybe, yes! Oh my God. It's you. It's me. It's you. We have Look at that. We have to definitely buy this. We have to buy it, huh? Hey, wait for me. It's a huge page, and even my YouTube channel is in bold. Ah! And this is like a thicker magazine. It's like ten dollars to buy this, so people are more apt to like really read it and like keep it on their shelf. I am so excited. It's literally the same story that was in the other magazine, only bigger and better. And it has a different picture of me. I think I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at the other magazine, but I think it's a different picture. And it says I'm 43 instead of 44, because I guess they didn't know I turned 44, but I guess it doesn't matter. And of course, it still says my address wrong, which I guess is not a bad thing. But here's the picture of me. Cool, right? Of course, it says right there that you can lose 22 pounds in nine days. I mean, you can if you're really big, but I don't know. It doesn't happen very often. And it's mostly water weight. So anyway. But they did quote Dr. Westman instead of other certain doctors that they could be quoting that they shouldn't. So I'm happy to see that in their little article. I'm going to read it through it a little bit better. Um, but it's basically an, uh, just an article about keto diet in general. It doesn't look like it's super complicated or anything. But... Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Mary McCarthy, for telling me about this. I would have never seen it. I never buy magazines. I'm not on the cover, and so I never would have thought at all to pick this up. So I am so excited! Thank you, Mary. All right, you guys, guess what I am doing? I am taking these with me because I am heading over to my very first in-person coaching job. So. A guy in my um, church has hired me to be his personal keto coach. I have, I have been coaching online, so I have one client that I am currently coaching online. And now I will be coaching someone in person who has a really hard time with um, cell phone apps and things like that. So this ought to be tricky. I spent the last couple of hours coming up with some meal idea explanations that maybe he can use to like help him put it together without maybe a chronometer app but I don't know wish me luck <laughs> I'm hoping this goes well and I'm I'm kind of excited this is like a new path 
for my keto teaching journey and I'm excited about it. Sully's off to work and I am off to my meeting. But my car is frozen. Boo. It's like he's got the same problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks Oliver. The brush isn't gonna do much good on this. What? How are you getting it off with just a brush? It's like ice. No, it's frozen. It's still like ice. Well, I don't think yeah. can. Brush ain't gonna work for me at all. Well, this scraper sucks. I don't know where he bought these. At least he bought some. After my complaining over and over. <laughs> Sully has a better one. Look at that one he's got. He's got like a monster scraper. He spent money on his, huh? He's got like a scraper that's long enough to do the whole van. <laughs> Xander's filming me in the car. He has a new phone. He's showing it off. Alright, I gotta go. Hopefully we'll get this done fast. Hopefully we'll get this done fast. We. Okay, so... If you guys don't remember from competition, I don't know if I showed it, but Eloise popped a, a hole in her duet costume pants. Except so I don't know how it. Popped. It just because they're so tight, they are extremely, <clears throat> extremely tight pants. And so I am just gonna whip stitch this really fast. It doesn't have to be spectacularly amazing because it's black. It's very forgiving. I am just gonna whip stitch this as quickly as I can. Get it ready for her to get. I think it's safe to say the chickens are laying again. This is like, there's row after row. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Those chickens are in for it now. Oh my god. Oh wow, you're brave. I'm gonna have to have you catch them when they come out in the front yard. You're faster than me. You're a lot braver than me too, right? Get that big fat yellow one again. Oh, oh you could run the tail fish. Oh my. Oh my. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cute. Go get that big gold one again. That was funny. Grab that one again. No, oh, she doesn't want you to anymore. Turn around and show me her. Turn around, turn around, turn around. The kicks, the kicks. But she's so funny. Box. I'm kind of afraid to look in here. Woo-wee! 
that's a lot of eggs. Uh, that's a couple dozen more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're laying like gangbusters now. So Jasper abandoned me a long time ago, but I can't make myself go inside because I'm just laying out here in the sun on the trampoline, basking in the warmth, hoping that it will last for like five seconds, maybe five days. I have so much to do. I have so much house cleaning to do and I have so many videos to edit and I just can't make myself get off of this trampoline. I'm gonna have to sometime though. Well, we're off on our shooting adventure. I am not awesomely excited about it, but I'm trying hard. The boys are excited. They can't wait to shoot some guns. It's been a really long time for Dave too. He hasn't done it in a while either. So it ought to be fun. Hope you guys enjoy it anyway. <laughs> I'm talking about it, I didn't even think of it until now. Is that him? No, that's not him. But is this where we're here supposed is to be? Is this where you're supposed to turn off? Are you sure? <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe that's what he meant right here. It was this road here? Oh my gosh! Are you are you oh sure about gosh. this? Yeah. You sure about this, Dave? You oh scared, oh scared me a little bit, man. You scared me a little bit. Oh my gosh, Dave, I think you should call Dave and see first before we go down this hill. I mean, He's just, just over the hill. How do you know? According to this. Could, could we walk? We, we, we could walk. I, 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 would be, I can get out. It might I, lighten I, a little bit. I could walk. Oh! I'll just walk. You're scratching the bottom. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. David! Oh my gosh. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Hey, Dave, you're going to break my car. I can get out and make it. Oh Dave! My car just a little you're breaking my car. You're breaking it. Oh my god. Penny's having a heart attack in the back seat. I can walk. I promise. It might lighten What if the other people's cars get broken? Oh my gosh. A whole mile of this? Three quarters. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, this is not good. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I might cry a little bit. This is why I don't go shooting. This right here, this stuff. I hate this stuff. This is why I don't like the dune buggies. This, I just don't like the uncertainty of whether we're gonna be okay or not. That would be mud. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. Okay, this is not as bad. Don't see him anywhere. Hope nobody shoots us while we're driving down this road. Isn't that why people are out here? There's people over there with the targets right back there. nothing in a four-wheel drive. This is not nothing in my brand new old 97 Acura. And do you see that mud up there? Oh, you can go around it, right? Oh my gosh. Is that a nervous one? Yes. This is a, I think we're gonna die and be stuck here forever and we're gonna have to pay money to get the car pulled out. <gasps> More muddy, but this is really scary. Oh, my God. oh, oh it's not gonna that. work so later. Okay, now when you're ready to shoot, safety's off. You pull this down, and the slide will slam closed, and then you'll just pull the trigger. Okay, I don't, you just pull this thing down, this little lever right here. Ah! Oh, gosh. <laughs> That hurts my ears. Like this? Yeah. You make sure you're actually recording. Because I, if I do this and it's no waste. Okay. So I hold it like this and 
I pull the safety thing down and then I put it and I look through this hole. And yeah, you line it. up this and this okay. with your target right on top of that in that yeah. groove. Okay. Keep your finger oh off the gosh. trigger until you're Do ready I keep to fire. My arms straight or bent? Straight. Just relax. Don't anticipate the kick. Okay. I don't even know what that means. Get your finger off the trigger. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Okay, and then you gotta know how to use this. Like this? Okay. Yep. Yeah. You gotta know how to use it. When someone breaks into your house, that's Is there anybody else? You're good. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. Okay, come here. Gosh. Oh, I'm too scared. I can't do it. Come on, just put the target in there and let her go. You got it. That hurts. You got it. I feel like the whole gun's going to get out of my hand. Oh, that hurts. You got the first one. I know, but that's because I wasn't afraid as afraid. It hurts my hand. Nope, just leave it. Leave it like that. Eject the magazine. That way you know it. That way you know it's safe. I don't know how to eject the magazine. My hand is broken. Because because it's open. So that's how you know it's safe. Okay. So you still don't point it anywhere, but Ow! That broke my hand. <laughs> So I'm out with Dave. Hey. We just stopped and got a soda, and Dave found the Green Monsters. I've been dying to try their new flavor because, you know, why not? It's a new flavor. Dave tried it the other night, and he said he felt like it was a cross from, like, what, whorehound candy with an aftertaste of mango? Is that what you said? Something like that? Yeah, it just wasn't that good. He didn't like it at all. So he wanted to, me to try it because we never like the same things when it comes to drinks. See if I like it. So my first impression was I thought it was apple, but then as I took a few more sips, I'm tasting real melony kind of thing. I think they were going for like honeydew melon. Maybe. Could be pear, could be watermelon. But yeah, it's definitely different. I've never tasted a flavor like this in a soda before, which is a good thing because it's hard to find anything new. I really think it's honeydew melon. It's not bad, I actually like it. I don't know that it's better than the purple monster is. I don't really care for the orange ones. He likes the white ones, I don't like the white ones, whatever that flavor is. I don't like any oh, of the monsters. He didn't like any monsters, so I don't know why he would think he would like this anyway. Anyway, I thought you guys might like to know what my thoughts were on the Green Monster. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried it? And what flavor do you think it is? Yeah. So I got another box. It's not fan mail. It's stuff I ordered, but I thought you guys would want to see what I got. So I got some new magnesium. This is the magnesium that I take. It's the Zao brand. It does have some oxide in it. But it seems to be the best glyconate that I have tried out of the brands I've tried. And it's also some of the most inexpensive. And it's also made here in Park City, Utah. So we're supporting a small business at the same time. And I probably shouldn't have got this, but... Keto gummy bears. Well, they're not really keto. There's 33 grams of fiber in the, each one, and it's the tapioca fiber. So if you're sensitive to that or if it causes you cravings, you definitely shouldn't do these. It can kick you out of ketosis from what I hear. But I really love having these on occasion. And right now, it's dance competition season, and I'm just trying to play survival mode. And these don't have me fat in them, which is good because I'm kind of overeating my fats. So I'm going to have a few of these every once in a while this month, and I'm super excited. Can you believe it's been four weeks since the last time I went to the orthodontist? And today is the day I get my bottom braces. I'm so excited because I've been having such trouble with my teeth being inside my other teeth and these ones coming out so far out of my head. 
it's been kind of a nightmare the last month. So I'm super excited to get started on the next part of my orthodontic journey, which is starting to straighten out these buggers down here. So I'm trying to eat my first meal and I've only even just started with avocado and I am I can't chew without biting out my lip. I did my live chat and by the time I was done talking, I had, the braces had eaten up my lip so bad that there was blood on my lips when I was done. Plus, everything sticks in your teeth. Ugh. All I've eaten is a couple bites of avocado and I already feel like, I don't know. Braces can be really frustrating. Sometimes I'm like, did I really need to do this? And other times I'm like, yeah, I really want straight teeth. It's going to be worth it. So here's hoping. braces update um now that i've gone the whole day with these i think that there may actually be something that's not quite right on this back one um i was pushing on it trying to put wax on and stuff and and i keep getting blood it has ripped my cheek to bits oh that's so bad look at that uh it's so bad uh, so yeah, I caught my finger on the end of the wire and it like punctured my finger. It is super sharp and it is definitely too long. Problem is I already have umpteen things scheduled for tomorrow morning and I don't think I can get in there to have him clip it off. So I'm just going to have to suffer until I can figure that out. Yay. It's Wednesday and today I am taking Ruby over to the other dance studio this morning to try out the pre-ballet class and I am going to try the adult ballet class they have over there because if she can take this 11 o'clock class that I will take the 10 o'clock class that gives me an excuse to go over whereas before I didn't really have an excuse. Now update on my braces. I don't know if you can tell that my mouth is completely swollen. Both sides it looks like are swollen. Um, Basically, they cut the wire was cut too long, and it has been poking the crap out of my cheek. Um, I took ibuprofen and it helped through the night. I put a lot of wax on it, and then last night I was trying to floss under these buggers, and I pulled the wire out on the other side. So I have a wire poking me on both sides. It feels lovely. I look lovely, and I still have to call them and see if they can get me in after the ballet class to hopefully fix it. So. I look kind of funny. I apologize. Talk funny. I should probably not talk much today. So I'm going to go get going. Well, now I'm recording you. I'm recording you, Mom.
so as you can see, it's gotten worse. It is very painful and I'm having a hard time eating and I'm supposed to still go to another ballet class. I'm heading out now to the orthodontist hoping I figure this stupid thing out and that I can get back to feeling better. But anyway, I'm on my way. Alrighty, so all done. I guess what he did was just kind of like he used one of those really loud dental drills to like really drill off the back of the wire and even round out the hook a little bit in case it's the hook that's actually doing it that's bothering me but like he was like whoa that looks extremely painful i'm like yeah all right oh i don't know if you can see <laughs> that's quite the sore i got going on there it's like the size of a dime but actually isn't that horrible i guess i must have a high pain tolerance because i just don't feel that miserable of course I take ibuprofen about six hours ago, so I guess it could be wearing off, but I will take ibuprofen again, and I'm going to go over to the gas station and get a cold drink, because you know that works for me, and also maybe some ice that I can take home and maybe make an ice pack, because I really feel like if I can get some ice on it, it will re take down some of the swelling. got to hustle, because i got to leave in half an hour for dance, but I think it's going to be okay. <sighs> I just hold you, Ice. I just hold you. I love you. <laughs> I should probably get home. That feels really good. <laughs> it's coming out the side. I can't even swallow properly, you guys. <laughs> it looks so funny. <sighs> oh, that's good. There's a good thumbnail. <laughs> My gosh, I look so funny. Hmm. Yum. Okay. Heading home now. I'm gonna pick up the kids and go to ballet. Virginia actually, Virginia actually sprained her ankle yesterday in clogging, so she's not even gonna go with me to class. I am sorely tempted to just skip, especially considering I already went to a ballet class this morning. But, hmm, I don't know. Part of me just thinks I should just go and get my class and do it. I really don't have any reason to. This pain isn't severe. So even though I look funny, it's not super bad. And people are going to see me anyway because i got to take the kids eventually for their classes.
Is everybody in their seatbelts yet? Nope. Nope. Can you please focus? Oh, my face. Be proud of me, guys. I did my class, both of them, with this giant face. And I feel everybody wants to talk to me, but every time I talk, it just like starts to bleed. So I need to stop talking. But we also need to go, and it would be nice if you could put your seatbelt on sometime in the next century. Please. We'll see you on Monday, everyone. Alrighty, everybody. I think that's about all I can stand of my real life to put in for you guys in this video. So I hope the next time you see me, I don't look like I've been in a prize winning fight and come out on the wrong side of it. <laughs> Thanks for watching Tammy's Tidbits. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you again soon.